up, Internet? What's going on? Y'all remember uh, the 180 has a bunch of BBA growing on the rocks and sticks and driftwood and whatnot. Uh, so here is part one of treating for that BBA that is growing in there and is causing me problems. Uh, mainly aesthetic. As you guys know, my opinion on uh, algae is that it's more aesthetic than anything else or just shows you some imbalances in the water. Uh, I've been a little bit off base on my uh, my water changes, pretty infrequent and here and there, and uh, leaving my light cycle going a little bit long and blah, 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 all sorts of issues uh, ever since I switched over to the LEDs. Um, things are kind of raining back in, but as you guys know, once the uh, algae gets going, it there's really no... Uh, there's no just like stopping its growth. Uh, so I got, I got to kill it. So what I'm, what I'm employing on that is, uh, some flourish, some flourish Excel, uh, which is a carbon, uh, supplement, which you can add to your aquarium. Uh, Seachem makes it. Um, and I will give you a disclaimer, uh, Seachem, and it says here on the back of the bottle, as we go to the back of the bottle, Seachem says, to do not overdose with this. Uh, do not overdose with this. So I am not recommending for you to do this. I'm not saying that Seachem says that you're supposed to do this. This is just what I do. Make your own life choices. All right? So there's that disclaimer so that uh, Seachem doesn't get mad at me again. They've been mad at me recently um, for quite a while. So, uh, But either way, this is a really good product. It does exactly what uh, they say it's going to do. But uh, like I said, do not overdose. I'm not, I'm not recommending to do that. This is just what I do. Um, so by their math here, you need one cap full, which equals five milliliters for 40 liters or 10 gallons. Uh, 40 liters is 10 gallons. They are the same thing. Um, if you're in England, liters make sense. Uh, if you're in the United States, gallons make sense. So I am going by the gallon measurements. The dog just came in the back door and freaked me out. Uh, I'm going by the gallon measurements. So for my initial dose... I need to do a double dose, basically. Um, so I have 200 gallons. So I need to do 20 doses, right? So that's 100 milliliters of this. Now, I don't think I want to sit there and count out all the capfuls that I need to do. It's just going to be way too many capfuls. So I got a little bottle here that is 50 milliliters. So... I'm going to fill that up twice, and y'all watch me do it here uh, one-handed, and I will seriously fail at it uh, slash succeed. But that's all right. Later on, I uh, I did the other one uh, two-handed, and it worked out for me. So the main ingredient that we're looking for here, and of course I had it pulled up, uh, which now I don't have it pulled up, uh, glutara, gluta, glue? Tara, taraldehyde, glutaraldehyde, glutaraldehyde, glutaraldehyde. I think I'm saying that right now. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but here I go, uh, getting my dose ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw that in the sump. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this shit one handed here, and uh, watch me uh, pour it all over the countertop. Remember, this stuff is a little bit toxic. It, do not ingest it. Do not get it inside you. If you get it on your hands, uh, just wash your hands off. Don't. But also, don't spray it in your eyes like some kind of maniac. I don't. I don't understand who would do that, but or how that would happen. I guess maybe if you got it on your fingers and then you rubbed your eyes or something. Yeah, I guess that's a possibility. But uh, bear in mind, do not drink this stuff. Do not get it in your eyes. Uh, and if you get it on your skin, just uh, wash your hands and rinse with uh, with hot water or cold water. Whichever you prefer is fine, I'm sure. Um, but at the very beginning, I'm going to dose two of these. And then every day, I'm going to do an individual dose moving along uh, as I go every single day. I'm going to be adding this stuff in uh, every single day up until the algae begins to turn red. Once it starts to turn red, then it's uh, getting ready to die off. Um, I, I think it'll turn gray first. No, it turns red first, and then it'll turn gray. Uh, but once it's once it's inert algae, it'll actually be eaten up uh, by all my critters that are in the tank. Oh, here I am uh, uh, dosing it into the aquarium. Another reason why sumps 
are awesome because I can just dose things from down here into the sump and it'll get up into the system. Uh, also handling my water changes and all that kind of stuff. But just an, just another upside of uh, having a sump, and as you guys can see when I'm dumping it down there. Uh, but as you can see, it's all over uh, my uh, driftwood and my rocks and all those kinds of things is starting to get into my plants. And I tell you what, when it starts getting into my plants, then I got to take a little bit of a drastic measure. So this is part one. Uh, part two will be, I'll show the progression of, uh, killing off the, um, killing off the, the algae as we go along. Um, and we're going to uh, come up on the end of the video here and just kind of look around the tank a little bit. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but I just want to show people like this is legitimately how I treat for algae. And, uh, we'll, we'll see as we go along here, the algae will die off and, uh, my critters are all be fine. So let's get into the end of the video. All right. Later. <laughs>